What's going on guys and girls? Welcome to your 6th HTML5 inline SVG tutorial uh, by iFectioner.com In this video tutorial we will be drawing lines with the help of HTML5 inline SVG tags. Up till now we have created uh, uh, a file named uh, ifectner svg lineshtml and uh, it gives us some rectangles and some circles. And now we will learn how can we draw lines with the help of h uh, svg uh, line tag. So uh, to draw a line, I write line, give an ID to my line my line and now uh, I have to uh, tell uh, it from where would I like to start my line I need to give the X and Y position on the SVG working area and then I also need to tell it where would I like to end my line so I have to give uh, the ending X and Y positions. So let's say that I would like to start my line at uh, 100 pixels on X axis and uh, 400 pixels on Y axis and I would like to draw a straight line. So I would uh, uh, put the uh, Y2 as uh, 400 whereas I would like to change the X axis to let's say 300 pixels. So let's draw a straight horizontal line. I say that the position of X1, the line should start at uh, 50 pixels on X axis or 50 points on X axis and 350 points on Y axis. And where should it end? I s just need to change uh, the X position. So I say that the ending position that is X2 is equal to 350 pixels. And the ending position that is Y2 on the Y axis is 350. So let's change this position to 400 and uh, then you need to tell uh, the stroke color and the stroke width for your line. I say that uh, I use the in, uh, in line styles and I say that the stroke color of my line should be let's say black and stroke not stroke but stroke stroke and bleck i end uh, it with the semicolon this property and value command and then i say that uh, the stroke width should be 10 pixels so it would be a thick line and uh, i end my uh, line tag with slash and greater than sign. I save my file and on notepad plus plus I choose the run menu and then I select launch in chrome command and now you see that we have drawn a line which starts on x axis at 50 pixels and on y axis at 350 pixels and the line we have drawn it uh, on the x axis till 400 pixels on and on y axis on uh, till uh, you say 350 pixels let's say that I would like to bend my line how can I do that I can easily do that by changing the y2 position. Let's say I just uh, say that on y2 it should go to 30 pixels. 
now see the effect that it would start from here and go around here somewhat here so I refresh put, uh, click the refresh button and now see that we have been able to bend our line let's say that uh, I would like to draw a line from this position to this position on the y-axis so how can I do that I would just uh, copy and paste the above code of line tag just I would change uh, the ID to my line 1 and I say that now it needs to start at on x-axis at 5 not 550 pixels but yeah 550 pixel because uh, this line ends at 550 pixels on x-axis and on y-axis I say that it should start at 20 or 30 pixels point 30 and then it should start from here and go down so we need to just change the y axis position and the x axis position would remain same so I say that the x2 should be 550 and y2 position should be 350 uh, should it be 350? Yeah. So, and uh, we want it to be blue in color, and the stroke width should be 10 pixels. I click on the save button, and now see that we will draw a vertical line. Now, let's say that I would like to draw another line which starts from here and ends here. How can I do that? it's really simple I just copy and paste my line code just like I did it before and I say that the ID of this line is my line 2 and X1 position should now be 550 and Y2, Y1 position should be 350 because we want to start uh, the line drawing the line from this point and we would like to draw it to this point and uh, the x and y positions for this point is 50 and 350 so I say that the x2 position should be 50 and y2 position should be 350 and this should be in red color I save my file go to my can, uh, SVG working area file refresh my page and now see that we have drawn an other line so this is how we can draw lines uh, and we have discussed how can we position our lines and how can we change the properties of our line in the next tutorial we would be discussing about the polygons uh, oh no we would be discussing about ellipse how can we uh, draw ellipse in our SVG file or the web page so please join me in the next tutorial take care bye bye